Hey, welcome back to the High Heels and Tea Podcast. It's your girl, Crystal Lee. This is Rianda. And today, y'all, we got another good inspo topic. It's going to be another good girl chat. Y'all know all our topics are good girl chats. Must need have conversations, okay? <laughs> Bless you. About womanhood. All right? Bless you. But like the other episode, my girl, Ree, is going to kick off everything with this. So I get to sit here and just be pretty. Yes, yeah. Just, I'm just just off the dome. Yeah, just off the dome. But it's really not. It's it's, it's inspired not. by different uh-huh. things. Uh-huh. Um, so today's topic is about mm-hmm. separation mm-hmm. and elevation. Yes. All right. And this is, topic is brought to me today by TDJ the Migos. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not TDJ. <laughs> <laughs> if you got topics like that, it's uh-huh. the hard to DJ. No, <laughs> it has nothing to do with them people. Okay, okay. No, it's the Migos um, mm-hmm. and uh, R.I.P. Take off. To take off. Um, mm-hmm. It's in correspondence to the issues that recently happened with take off and um, offset, right? Take off and Quavo. Yeah, Quavo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take off the nephew. Take mm-hmm. off and Quavo. Mm-hmm. Um, being a part of a, I would consider a hood. Mm-hmm. dice gambling game mm-hmm. and within that game the reports say that it was actually Quavo who was gambling mm-hmm. and basically losing mm-hmm. and getting an attitude because of the loss that he was having mm-hmm. but at this point something occurred where guns were drawn mm-hmm. um, from the crew that take off and Quavo was with as mm-hmm. well as the additional people that was in the area mm-hmm. um, it was reported that um, takeoff was shot from somebody from his group mm-hmm. of people as well as from the other group of people from the fires being shot, just basically being an innocent bystander mm-hmm. and getting caught into the fire and flame. When I look at this, I first thing that comes to my mind is separation mm-hmm. when you elevate because mm-hmm. to my knowledge, the Migos or millionaires, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I got my money to make. I just don't know. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when you get into certain areas and certain rooms, mm-hmm. at what point do you separate yourself from the things that you were used to? Because, you know, we always go by saying, especially in the black culture, that you can take somebody out the hood, but you can't but take, you take the, hood. the hood out of them. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like that's true. But mm-hmm. at what point do you think we should learn to separate ourselves when we do elevate to those next levels that's a good question and you know what honestly it starts as you talk as you start to elevate it's not about when you actually make it Mm -hmm. or achieve that goal like really in order to just be in that hustle mode that grind mode that building and then growing like to get to where you want to go number one hits whatever in that particular situation Mm -hmm. you automatically just start to separate yourself from people that are not going where you're going they don't understand the hustle that you have to put in to get where you're going like it just starts to happen but I think a lot of people got like survivor's guilt you know um and they tend to hold on to situations or they tend to hold on to people hmm. that they never had a reason to necessarily let go like yeah. for bad reasons but when you put these people in these different and new and better environments they're not striving in them they're not doing nothing with them but the same things they would do if they were still in the jungle acting like they have to survive yeah, so honestly i think separation is just it just as you continue to um stride it's it's like layers just start to fall off and people mm-hmm. falls off in those layers people you know fall off. um they should fall off but again it's for some reason um, I just saw an interview recently where Quavo was just talking about uh, in that particular situation how like if you can't afford security, have some of your friends, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, from the hood to be the security. Yeah. So well, I'm gonna speak to that was a bad choice. That was a bad that's that's <laughs> not still. It's not it and somebody I, needed to go to gun class. I understand the I understand the concept behind it, but again, you know, yeah, somebody actually on. professionally really? trained to do yeah. security probably would operate very differently you know what i'm saying there's somebody that's straight from or would the have been hood. able to de-escalate that situation in a different manner yeah so a couple of new developments quote unquote have came from that situation since to where it was just like okay it wasn't someone from the migos chef it was someone from the other um party um uh, so it, it's at the end of the day regardless the act of what they were doing is something that was just unnecessary and 
Not, environment that they were in. That environment was just so unnecessary to be in, especially that time of day, all of that. And you got all these men that got to get their ego stroke. Everybody want to prove that they, you know, they the alpha male or whatever may have you. And unfortunately, again, you got certain type of people around you that you took out this environment, yeah. not because you saw them soaring or you saw them moving towards something or whatever, but because you got survivor's guilt exactly. or you want to be keeping it real yeah. or whatever. They or not, you want to bring your homeboys back from the hood because I oh, bring you they not, they don't you understand. Don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been down for you like all this Yeah, time. they like, don't understand. What? And I'll be honest with you, I had a, not that in any form of fashion, but I had a rule awakening. Like, it's like, you know what? It, you don't have to be bad or fucked up per se, but you you not going where I'm going. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With all due respect, all love, separate. I got to separate myself to truly elevate because sometimes sometimes when you have certain people around you although you have inclined in 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 um in in life they will bring you back to Man. where you came from you know they will keep you in these survivor modes because honestly you never like you said you can take the person out the hood but you don't take the, the hood out the person no. that old nature what will you? always be in you those survivor systems will always be in you and so sometimes you have to know how to take you have to know how to remove certain people from you mm -hmm. from around you so you can truly like Okay, well, let me truly flap my wings. Yes, I have them and pretty, but I can't fly because you're still weighing me down. Yep, you know what I mean? So that's what I think is is the ultimate um, you know, goal with that. But you it happens. It happens even right now. If you create a business plan and you like, you know what, I wanna start a business next year and you now you're doing these different steps and accomplish these little small goals to get to the bigger one, people gonna stop effing with you yeah. because of that you know what i'm saying yep. people gonna start side eye you because of that you're gonna start feeling survivor guilt because and i've done this tremendously like i've always had like friends who we had good plans and i was ready to do something they weren't ready to do mm -hmm. and it came to a point where i had to pick me over there over us and i did that and i was like, able to accomplish that yeah. but i always felt bad about the fact so i always came back to reach out like hey come on but i'm, I'm here you. everything cool Come on, come on. And they never wanted to come with me to I had to I had to learn to just stop reaching out. You know what I'm saying? And not with no hard feelings. Like just stop. Just stop. Because if they wanted to be there or they want to come or be where you at or even re close, they they would be That's like, let me come. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Let's let's do this. So come it's on, right the close your neck <laughs> it's your right So <laughs> listen, right? So I understand a lot of actions, but you have to live and learn. And I'm pretty sure for Quavo, it's, it's so unfortunate, it's so sad. And, you know, just the sad. last episode I had the shirt on. It's so sad and because that's his nephew and I, that was his best friend. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, you that's a hard lesson to learn. And I don't mm -hmm. think he was the cause of it or like it was his fault in any form and fashion. Because I know just based off the love he had. He asked for his friend. I mean, for his people. Yeah. Situation. But it was a situation that if people change their mindset, if you were doing it different, like you were mentioning, like, yeah. okay, if y'all want to shoot dice, won't y'all host y'all own no party, private party. situation? Dice events, dice parties. Yeah. Say, at the yeah. house, have people sign DA. Yeah. No weapons allowed. This is just a fun yeah. experience because there's a lot of a lot of men like and women like to mm -hmm. gamble you know yeah. like people go on the boat and like to shoot craps because mm -hmm. that's just an you know something to do because that's something that they like to do as a hobby mm -hmm. but the thing is when you put yourself in environments where it's dangerous you mm -hmm. know why you're doing it because that is a dangerous game it is because it is. you you're you're basically competing for money with yeah. people that you have no idea what their about. mentality it's is their mindset exactly. is how grindy what they, they are what their pockets look like because yeah. they think that they might be the best freaking dice shooter mm -hmm. on the block mm -hmm. but then you come through and you steadily win it and now they pissed off because mm -hmm. that's their last two grand that they had but mm -hmm. you're a millionaire mm -hmm. you can go back to the bank and go get you another two grand mm -hmm. but at the same time it's like why put yourself in those dynamics when you yeah. don't have to? When you don't have to, mm -hmm. bottom line. And it's weird, too, because that is a hood game, you know what I'm saying, to play. And it's just wild. But some people, they just so attached to being that, that person. Yeah, that that life. And you want to have some type of, you know, you want to have some type of attachment to it to say you steal this and you steal that. Although you got 
chains and million dollars. Listen, listen, you have to know how to go back to what you said. You have to know how to separate yourself to elevate yourself. Mm -hmm. And there, are, let me say this too. I don't want to use it as like a race thing, but there are rich people that actually meet up. I saw this on Netflix. I can't remember the name of the movie, but this lady was hosting like these poker games for these multi-millionaire, billionaire people. They come in and, 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 and put security down with orc that's worth yep. millions and millions of dollars and they know how to have a peaceful game and lose their money and go Don't home you know what i'm saying but that's organized yeah. Right, and so but they can do that too. They can exactly. <laughs> so you can organize and have this. They can be on a boat at the exactly. casino, but why would, why would I go to the boat casino on this level? Exactly. No, where are them private parties at? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Let me get myself in them private rooms party and, here. I got my yeah. security here. Let me go win a yacht. Let me we, we check. <laughs> We check in. We with the check in. You gotta yeah. sign these documents that say this. You know, no pictures, no. And you got set. deposits. Yeah. Before, like, you, we need exactly. to know for a fact you got money before you come if in. Come her, yeah. I gotta verify. I gotta verify you yeah. for you to even be a part of this dice game. So mm -hmm. Let me check your accounts because mm -hmm. if not, you know, this is this is another level. It was very similar to what you said on a different episode about mm -hmm. levels of people. Mm -hmm. If you, I, if you're not on this level. Mm -hmm. Don't be on this level. Don't be up there. Go to your so level then. It's no hard feelings. That's what happens, especially in our culture. We mm -hmm. we try to be on our, on these levels and we're not even mm -hmm. close to being on those levels. Oh, we pass them levels mm -hmm. and instead of just letting this shit go and going on to, you know, your level and soaring, you want to kind of hold on to it. And the worst thing, and this is something I learned, so the worst thing, you can't have people around you that have nothing to lose Man. because they'll cause you to lose everything. Man. So in this situation alone, from whoever camp, whatever happened, obviously, if the story ain't Quavo pulled out a gun or take off, put out a gun, mm -hmm. you got people around you that got nothing to lose that the first thing they, the first thought yeah, is, let me pull out a gun. Mm -hmm. Yep. And ain't no guns drawn. Exactly. That's not, that's it's not it. That's not the right people that you want to have around you. Yeah. Sure, if I, some go down, yeah, I want you to protect me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But again, you got certain people around you, they got nothing to lose. So guess what? The person ain't got nothing to lose is going to make sure they they good exactly. and they're going to help you lose everything you got. Exactly. And then you're always in there looking crazy. And it's very similar to what happened. It's similar. It's right? similar to what happened. And you know, like that's what I said, example horrible. of what you just said about actually hiring some security. Yeah. You know, they would have had a different level of professionalism yeah. and yeah. would have been able to de escalate yes. their situation in a different manner instead of just. Pulling out the blick you know, like for just the blick. Yeah. Like, and then a lot of times, especially what you said with egos, mm -hmm. that'd be that thing. Somebody could pull out a gun just to think that they can intimidate somebody. But in this day and age, everybody and their mother say, "Don't has pull no gun out if you ain't ready to Man. use it." You but can't everybody do that. has guns. Yeah. And like yeah. you're not going to be intimidated because your gun shoots just like my gun. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, why are you doing this? Like, mm -hmm. don't create that dynamic. We mm -hmm. didn't even have to get there. Yeah. Yeah. And I know, I think in the past, we've also had an episode about friendship mm -hmm. and uh, elevation as well. Mm -hmm. um, got a question about, well, as far as the friendship elevation goes, mm -hmm. when it's when you get to the point where you recognize, and it, it's, a, it's a term I just uh, learned recently, mm -hmm. learning, being jealous without hating. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed that a lot of times when you're in these friendships, you have a lot of these friends that are jealous of you, mm -hmm. you know, kind of similar to what you said about once you elevate, you get people to drop off, you get people to, they just know, automatically just drop off, start moving. But then mm -hmm. you got those people that still try to hold on to you mm -hmm. and still want to be in your life, mm -hmm. but then they not genuine. Mm -hmm. So when you have those types of people, what do you do to knock them off of the board? Um, I think you have to be honest. Mm -hmm. I think honesty is a song. I remember y'all was like 19. I used to work at, I would work at Denny's and it was a song. Ooh, they used to, girl, I was a surf with a big booty. But um, it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was um, this song they used to always come on is like, honesty is such a lonely word. Hmm. And I think that if you don't be honest and say, you know what, I don't know, I, I don't want the friendship or I need to separate myself whatever the situation is you become just as fake as they are mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so True. that shit will rub off on you because now you have to create a system to deal with them yeah. which is not a genuine system they're not genuine with you you're not genuine with, with them. them so you have to be honest with yourself 
You have to be honest with them. And at the end of the day, you don't owe nobody nothing. It's your life is about you and your happiness and what makes you happy if it's not dealing with them on that level. Because and I have a question to what you said, but if your if your your happiness is not dealing with them, you know, jealousy without hating, but you just I guess you just ain't to tell that they're not genuine. Yeah. Um you you deserve to have clean Genuine. clean relationships. genuine relationships association networking friendships mm -hmm. you deserve to have that and it does exist mm -hmm. so you don't have to settle for that you know what i mean so part of elevating is changing your mindset mm -hmm. and you can never elevate it don't matter there are some people for instance you heard they won a lottery and then be broke again yeah you want the money yeah and, and that's good and you had this opportunity to do all these different things with this money yeah, but, but you end up even even in a worse situation because your mindset never changed so part of part of someone actually doing the work and going through the different changes and and you know the the grit and grind is because they they mindset gets to change but when your mindset never changes mm -hmm. and you think you're soaring you're going to always fall back down because you're going to always fall to whatever is going on like keep your keeping head. up keeping up with this person keeping up with this situation whatever may have you so if you really truly truly elevating and you're noticing certain things and characteristics and people it's okay to say this doesn't work for me yeah. you know what i'm saying we, and that's a part of your growth that's you part of your growth that. that's that's yeah. probably like your homework yeah and i want to speak to just this part i learned that a lot of times people make their decisions about someone else your decisions are really about you. You know what I mean? Your decisions that you make for yourself. It, it ain't about who this person is and who that person It's a matter of what you yeah. feel, what yeah. you want, what you need for your life, and what aligns in the court for your future. If it ain't that person, you make that decision. decision. Who cares if they happy today, they sad today, they genuine, they disgenuine. None of that matters. What works for you works for you, bottom line. Exactly. So we keep that in mind. We need to focus on other people's feelings, and we need to focus on our own. That's it. That's it. So you can definitely go into a, a, sink, a sunken place so concerned and consumed by what somebody else feel. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I'm too much aware of that. I'm a, I have a weakness of that because I'm yeah. such an empathetic nice person. person. You know what I mean? And I, I just like to see people happy. Yeah. And unfortunately, that, that being empathetic is a good thing, but it's, but it's, not, it's not always a good thing. So you have to know... A little bit more about who you're dealing with before you give that that trait to someone that characteristic to someone right but um bottom line like i think honesty you got to be honest you have to be honest with yourself you have to be honest with the people around you you know when and place the boundaries yeah that's a big part boundaries boundaries, is having yeah. boundaries and yeah. letting people know what your boundaries are and like you said it's like that's fakeness because mm -hmm. it's like if you can't have a genuine friendship mm -hmm. with somebody that means it's not even valuable mm -hmm. it's not even a purpose of having it because it's always going to be some backlash or some yep. trauma or some issues that's, mm -hmm. that's going to rear its head because oh this is how you really feel mm -hmm. oh this is really what's going on in the back of your head the yep. whole time yep. and yep. the whole time I'm just trying to be friends like I just yeah. want to be a good friend yep. <laughs> and you, you just not operating out of a good space um, I know for me personally I'm like okay change these systems that you operate out of and you don't want to you, you don't want to be around people you feel like this that's, that's fake whatever may have you cool as you know you know got uh, somebody hitting you up about me and it's like no you feel like this let it be right girl let it be cool be cool crazy. i have no problem with nobody none right so why would i try to re reconcile or keep up with a situation that causes me to be on edge yeah. or causes me to feel like I got to walk on eggshells yeah. or causes me to feel like, mm, let me make sure I'm 50 steps ahead. I don't have time for that. No. I want to be in peace. I want to be loved and I want to love yeah. people. And, and that's I'm it. Gonna fight. I'm going to fight. I'm going to do that. Oh my God. I don't know how time to operate out that system no more. You know what I mean? Not at this age, so, especially when we got so much stuff going on yeah. in our life. Yeah. And it's just like, if that, like exactly what you said, it's going to mm -hmm. take you back. Take you back to a place that you already came that from. That you already came from. And yeah. why? Yeah. Why? And for what? You know, and if you, you know, is you going to pay yeah. me to do this? Or like, yeah. what's the purpose of us doing this? And, yeah. And anyway, That's I think good. also with us, it's a very similar what you said about our culture. Yeah. Um, we just get stuck. You know what I'm saying? We get stuck on, uh, we, we get stuck and we feel guilty. 
Mm-hmm. We feel guilty because we feel like we're supposed to bring everybody with us. Mm-hmm. And everybody ain't supposed to go with us. Everybody not supposed and to go. It's a hard pill to swallow. We too. get stuck because we are worried about everybody else's feelings mm-hmm. except for our own. And it's just like similar to the health and you know, health episode with Pash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I wait for you to work out every day, I ain't gonna never lose. I ain't gonna never lose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I you know what I'm saying, if I wait on you yeah. to take this trip, I ain't gonna never go. I ain't gonna never go. If I wait on you to start this business, I ain't gonna never have no business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. just like we have to separate ourselves because if we don't, we come in this world mm-hmm. by ourselves and we don't leave this world by ourselves. Mm-hmm. We cannot allow ourselves to be caught up on what if somebody else does this. And I know we, we're about to get into this, this topic, but I, I mentioned just something real quick today. Sometimes you think you're waiting for someone to be ready, but they are living their lives the way that they want to live their lives. You just stopping yours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like y'all both stopped y'all lives and now we got to wait for the right time. You the only one to stop. Okay. You know what I mean? You the only one that's, that, that ain't living the way you want to live. Everybody lives however they want, when mm-hmm. they want. They do things when they feel like they're ready. If you feel like you're ready to do something and, and it requires you to leave some friends behind, some family behind, whatever, go do it. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> if they really mess with you, they they will find a way to support you yeah, they will. In, in your dreams. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if they so, don't, they won't. Yeah. If they you know don't, they and, won't. And then one thing also about people, when they feel like they've done something to you, they mm-hmm. gonna always feel guilty. Mm-hmm. They gonna, mm-hmm. They'll stop messing with you because they did you wrong. Yeah. but thank you guys for listening today drop those comments yes as well as like this episode yes you know tell us about how you feel about elevation and separation yeah yep and thanks for tuning in to the high heels and tea podcast thank Thank you you. bye-bye